Hi everyone. I am showing you um, a folder in my drive. Thanks for joining me this morning. Hi Mikey, how are you? Um, this is a folder in my drive uh, called Information Writing Unit. Um, so there's all sorts of things in here that I'm collecting. This is actually, I'm Amanda right now. And um, hi Mikey, are you homesick? Are you at school with a, on a break? Um, so my um, day starts in 15 minutes. Good morning again. What is your name, Aloha89C? I saw you yesterday in my scope and I really loved your comments. I watched the replay. Um, so I this is my first year teaching sixth grade actually. Um, at home snow day. Did you have a snow day yesterday too, Mikey? Is this your second snow day or your first? I didn't talk to you at all yesterday. Where were you? Were you at home resting? I hope you were. Um, I look really tired. No, just today. Okay, so you went to school yesterday and then... Um, okay, so, by the way, all my replays, I feel like I'm always like going like this. I need to stop that. <laughs> so if I do that, tell me to stop. Okay, so um, have you ever heard of Google Sites? Do you have access to Google Sites? Um, it's actually, let me show you. Um, so if you look over here, right here, see that? You go down, sometimes this is not showing. And so if you click more, you can get this app in your um, Google app section of your Gmail account, right? Um, and so I have a few sites um, and one of them, and you can do this obviously with any free website service if you have one through your school, but um, if I click Google Sites, um, I will um, go to this and this is, was created using Google Sites. And so um, I put all sorts of stuff on here, uh, my writing charts, my mentor text, my rubrics and checklists. Um, just anything and my student sites are here too they've created Google sites so I'm going to actually put um, a checklist here because I had a uh, parent already email me asking for uh, the ch uh oh blah 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 sorry um, there's uh, an announcement and I'm trying to talk over it so you can't hear it la 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 I don't want to hear, I don't want any student's names to be shared on this. I think they said a student's name. Okay, um, so I had a parent say, I would like um, a copy of the, the grading rubric for the new documentary project you're doing because my students are creating quote unquote documentaries. So they're, they're researching a controversial topic and providing the two viewpoints in their documentary. Okay, so how do I add my checklist? So what I'm gonna do is um, edit the page. You cl I click that little pin, and now I have editing access. And so I can go up here and click insert, and I can insert all sorts of stuff onto this page. So I'm gonna insert from my drive. I'm gonna insert a document because the checklist I created is a document. So I'm gonna click document, and then everything in my drive is here. Um, and I'm gonna go looking for, um, you can actually search. Um, so I can search um, documentary, oh my goodness, sorry. Let me just real quick. Um, sorry, a bunch of stuff just all of a sudden came up and I'm not sure what it said. Documentary project expectations is what I'm looking for. And then this, yeah, it's free too. So you can create your own website, documentary project expectations. So you can change like how big it is. I never really do that. And then you can insert it and save. Um, and now it's here. Now the thing is, oh, and then I have to click save up here for it to show up. Um, let's see, click save. Oh, I click save, and now it shows up. And but the thing is, is parents can't see it. I have to change the share settings in my drive. 
So I'm actually gonna go back to my drive and change this share setting. So this is uh, just the checklist. So they have to um, annotate two editorials in Google Drive. Uh, and so when they annotate, they have to highlight five main ideas, ask three questions, make three inferences, uh, write the author's point of view, write the author's purpose, and find five words to define. So very specific expectations about what I want them to do in their annotations. And um, I've done many lessons, or am doing many lessons on how to do all of this and modeling. Um, and then they're going to, going to create Google Slides and the Google Slides, um, I am very explicit about what they need to put in their slides. And then what they're gonna do is they're just gonna record the animations and pictures of their slides um, and uh, make like a movie out of it. So fun stuff, but anyway, so I'm gonna go back to my drive and ch I'll show you how to change the share settings. So just a second, look at my keyboard real quick. Are you guys still here? Is this really boring? Um, thank you replay viewers for watching. Hopefully you're getting something out of this. Um, okay, so let me go over here to uh, documentary checklist. Okay, so here I'm in my drive again. And so up here I have to click share. Um, and then let me just see what comes. So basically um, I need to make sure that so let's see, advanced. So I'm gonna click ad advanced and um, it's really hard. So uh, sp I have to change um, who has access and actually I can't show you this because it shows you my school district name and I don't think I wanna share that information. But basically there's a bunch of stuff on here. It says um, anyone with a link can view. Uh, it can be public on the web. Anyone in your district can view, only specific people can view. And so you basically, you have to click that advanced button and then you can pick who can view it. So I usually put anyone with a link because then parents can see it. Um, because they might not necessarily be, have an account through our district. They might have their own personal account. Um, and so now I'm gonna click done. And now parents can see the it's such a useful tool to change those settings. Oh, useful to change. Yes, it is. Um, share settings are a little tricky and, um, and sometimes like my students, they have their own Google sites and, um, and they keep all sorts of stuff on their site, um, like their goals and the published writing pieces, um, the books they're reading. Uh, so they have all sorts of stuff on their sites and so sometimes I'll click a link in their site and it'll say private request access. And so that means the student hasn't changed the share settings in their drive. Um, so everything is linked in, in Gmail. It's incredible. It is so fun um, to use Google uh, in your classroom. It is really, I mean, I think it's where things are headed in education um, using Gmail and Google apps. Um, it's awesome and it's free. I don't know how they, they get away with that. Oh my gosh, are you in the middle school, middle of a class period change? No, <laughs> can you hear my students? No, my uh, class starts at 8.35. So, um, and I'm all planned and ready to do, go for today. So you wanna see what I'm doing today? Here, I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, don't judge my bad handwriting. Um, so this is what I'm doing today. We will practice reading and annotating editorials. We will practice finding reliable resources for our documentary project. We will begin reading and note taking about the early Hebrews. Um, and then my kids, it's so annoying, my kids are getting really messy about our class library. Like they're leaving books all over my class and it's really annoying. Um, and then AP, AP is like a study hall, but at once a week, we have a closed study hall, so we sign their um, planners and say, you need to come to AP um, because we need to work on this or that, and so only certain kids can come. And so um, it's for ambivalent readers. Today's AP is just dedicated to students who are kind of ambivalent about reading, and so I'm gonna try and get them really excited about reading. Um, but yeah, they're really like leaving books from my library, like just lying around. Look at this. I need to talk to them about this problem. 
What is the deal with this? Look, that one's on the floor. Come on, kids. So that's one of my announcements <laughs> today is to talk to them about this issue. Okay, um, if you're not following I Teach TV Network, you should be because um, there are lots of people um, broadcasting tips and lots of great information and I'm gonna be on there on Thursday. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have a one, two, three part series coming. Um, just breaking down the writing workshop. Um, and Mikey D. Teach is going to be broadcasting on I Teach TV Network. What day again, Mikey? Um, I'm so excited. I have to catch you live. It's, it's imperative. Tonight! Okay, what time? I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to share with everyone. I might even come on again and talk about it. What time, Mikey? 5.30, my time. Thank you for providing the time for me because I cannot, I can't do time zones. It's really challenging. Okay, so 5.30, I will be there. I will be there. I'll ask uh, my husband to take care of the baby because that's right before she goes to bed. That's actually bath time. Um, but I will be there, Mikey. Have a great day with your kiddos. You have a great snow day. Get something done. Um, or not. Watch some movies and relax. I'm really jealous. Okay, bye everyone. I better go.